Hi guys, my name is Minhajani Ansari and you're watching the 45th tutorial on C programming and today I will talk about how you can read and write a character from your file. So first I'm going to talk about how you can read a character from your file. So before that I'm going to open my minhaj.txt file and I'm going to add a simple sentence uh, I like pizza. So now this is the contents inside my file and I'm going to save it and I'm going to close it. Now I can read this file character by character using the get c function. So let me show you that. Let me uh, print f a character and that character will be the character returned by the get c function. So I'm going to add the pointer to my file as an argument to this function. So now when I run this program, I'm going to get the first character from my file displayed in the output screen. And that is the character i. And I can repeat this step many times. And it will display uh, the characters from the file into the output screen. So you will get i space l i k and the more I use this function the more characters will be printed in the output screen. And one thing to keep in mind is that a space is also a character. So after printing the first character i, the second character which is printed by the printf function or the second character which is returned by the getc function is the space character. So that you should keep in mind. So now this is how you can extract characters from your file and print them into your program. What if you want to enter characters from your program into your file? Well, you can do that. You can do that using the put C function. And let me show you that. Let me first write a character variable ch and I will place the character w inside the character variable ch. Now using the put C function, First, you'll have to write the uh, character variable and then the pointer to your file. So now this will place this character into your file. And one thing to keep in mind, since you are writing into your file, change the mode to W, which is write mode. So now when I run this program, it's going to place W into my minhaj.txt file. And I can show you that. But there is one problem right here. It did place the character W right here, but it overrided all the previous information I had in my file. So in order to avoid that, you have to use the append mode. So let me show you that. I'm going to write uh, I love cheese pizza and I'm going to save this again. And now instead of using the write mode i'm going to use the append mode and the append mode simply modifies the information in the file so it will not overwrite it again so now when i run this program and now when i open the file the previous information will be saved in the file it will not be overwritten and the new character w will be placed into the file using the put c function so this is all it about get c and put c functions if you have any questions please ask them in the comment section and thanks for watching this video